Hello everybody, welcome back to episode number 3 Pro Wrestling Slim Playing as AEW So, let's have a little look through the roster There's my BCC, Blackpool Combat Club uh, We haven't really tweaked anyone else too much We've got the Undisputed Era here Undisputed Kingdom I should say Top Flight and the new look Dark Order looking a bit more sinister these days and we've got the FTR FT Runners uh, NXT over here what have they done Xavier Woods New Day beat Alpha Academy but we're just going to jump straight into AEW Dynamite So the show opens, we've got a pre-taped promo from Brian Danielson. He's been attended to by medics and he promises revenge on BCC. 84, so solid start. Uh, the new tag combo of Cara no Noir and Dalton Castle beat Bronson and Giff over here. Free star match, 73. Six person women's match. We have the team of Billy Starks, Mima, Lady Frost versus Mercedes Martinez, Sky Blue, and Alex Windsor. And Sky Blue picks up the win for her team. MJF bumps into Swerve backstage. They both sort of diss each other, with Swerve getting one up on the insults, leaving MJF fuming. 82. So Turbo Floyd, Truth Magnum, the youngest men alive. FTR defeat Satnam Singh, Jeff Jarrett, the Butcher, and Kit Sabian. Two and a half star, 78. Christian Cage beat Commodore. Three star match, 88. Very good match here. Christian went over pretty well. Mercedes calls out Jamie Hater. She responds, but it's just a distraction as. Camille attacks the challenger from behind and they do a two on one beat down. 84. Tag action here Tam Nakano and Haruki Shraida defeat Dona, Diona Peruzio and Tara Valkyrie. Uh, this was a three star match. 79. Backstage attack the crowd gasps as MGF bounces a steel chair off Swerve's ankle. Leaving him writhing around in pain. Medics quickly attend the scene. So we've got a little mini feud here. Just remember Swerve is legit injured and can't wrestle. Brian Cage defeats Semi Guevara in a very good four star match. 82. Uh, six person tag. We have here the Blackpool Combat Club. Who should have put the belts on the line here. I'm pretty certain I put the belts on the line. But obviously not. Trio's match to defeat Atlantis, Atlantis Jewa and Tempelio from Trip, uh, CMML. Four star match. Post match promo from John Moxley. The BCC. They tell Brian Danielson not to rush back. Because next time they'll meet. Moxley will put him down and take the world title. 77. We got Shibata here defeating Trent Beretta, 78. Uh, champion Will Ospreay mocks his challengers. So, in a short promo, Will Ospreay mocks Lance Archer, Carl Fletcher, and Kanosuke Takeshka, claiming he can defeat any of them at a moment's notice, 89. It's because they're the Don Callis family. Main event time Continental Championship on the line. Wow. First five star match, I think, for me. Uh, Okada defeating Darby Allen, 96 overall. A uh, solid, a solid 86 dynamite. Try to focus hard there on the main event. We got JCW have risen to a regional size. Satnan Singh has just got injured. I want to check my trio's title here. So yeah, it did count as a 
a trio's title defence, it just didn't pop up on the screen for some reason. Oh well, we'll carry on. Alright, so that is the end of October, so now it's the real reflection on how much money we made. Remember, we put a lot of investment. Wow, we dropped to 58 million. <laughs> oh, I could be out of business soon. Let's have a look at uh, finances. What did we lose? We lost 16 mil. Most of it in production. Well, that's, uh, don't forget, we didn't have a pay-per-view. So we'll see how it gets on next month. Rick Steiner to JCW. Uh, AEW Dark. Bronson, All-Atlantic champion there. TNA had Nick Nemeth defeating Eric Young. So let's jump forward to Ring of Honor. Show opens with Ricky. He complains to Shane that two weeks in a row he's defended his title successfully without cheating. He wants to sit back this week and wants to see who's ready to step up. Shadow Mac agrees and tells Ricky to be the guest commentator for the main event, which will be a number one contenders match. 78. Dark Order pick up a win here over Layla Gray and Miyu want to be. Uh, this was Abaddon picking up the win for the team in a three star match. Mance Warner here defeats Mark Briscoe, three star match, 76. Miro and Hangman Page are brawling again. Host of road agents try to break it up. Shane McMahon says he's had enough of this. Next week we're going to have Miro versus Hangman. 83. In a uh, eight person tag, the Bang Bang Gang defeat Lethal. Tony needs Big Bill, Brian Keith, Juice picking up the win for the team. Three star match. Maya versus Tony Storm here. Four star, very good singles match. 87 overall. Ricochet defending the Pure Championship. Three star match. 82. Beat Lee Moriarty. Roderick Strong enters for his match, comes face to face with Ricochet, who is leaving. So sort of one of those, Ricochet is walking to the back, Roderick Strong's music plays, he then walks to the to the ring. They have a little stare down. Roderick then goes on to defeating Leo Rush in a four star, considering they had bad chemistry, they still had a four star match. House of Black, uh, they defeat Private Party and Ben K. This again was for the trio's title. Don't know why it don't appear. Three and a half star. 81. Undisputed Kingdom. Have a promo. Adam Cole's praising Wardlow. Who's on form lately. Adam is now clear. And he will return to the ring next week. 90. Good promo. Uh, the team of Hook and Samoa Joe. Beat the Grizzled Young Veterans. Three star. El Vikino vs Bestia666, Vikino with the win, 4 star match, so we're getting pretty decent match ratings. Ricky joins the announced team for the main event, which sees Orange Cassidy defeating Jericho and Roosh in a 4 star match, 85. Following the match, Orange Cassidy, Ricky starts, have a stare down with Richie clutching his title. That only got 63. So 81 overall, again, solid show. We're still trying to build Ricky Stark as our main man. And his new number one contender will be Orange Cassidy. I'd like to think they'd put on a decent match, but I suppose you never know. WWE make a, an exclusive offer for Ronda Rousey. I mean, that's kind of like real life, I guess. That would happen. Smackdown over here had RKO defeating the Bloodline in the main event. Another company grew to cult size. That was Dragon Gate, in case you didn't know. Uh, 
let's quickly check my news. Yep, with a little bit of money. Uh, we've got WWE Hell Crown Jewel. Let's have a go for the card. So Gunter and Dirty Dom beating the, the Judgment Day. So they're the new tag champs. You've got Naomi still the North American champion. Ty Hill just beat Roxanne for the women's NXT women's title. Trick is still the NXT men's champion. Michen just won the Women's World Championship of Liv Morgan. Jay Guard Hills just won the world title of Nia Jax. Uh, weirdly, The Miz has just defeated Gunter for the World Heavyweight title. And Kevin Owens just beat um, Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship. So every single belt just changed on Crown Jewel. That is crazy. Although pretty cool that they gave Kevin Owens the world title. So we've got Ronda Rousey has come to terms with she's joined WWE again. We've got Peyton Pruse who is Kendall Gray. Has basically Natalia's taken her under her wing. That's nice and natty. Money dropped. I'm not too bothered about the money dropping. In the end of the day, it's a game, and we can turn that round. We are still okay winning the local global battle with WWE and the Monday Night Wars. Not quite WCW. All right, up next, what have we got here? A couple of people join Dragon Gate. There'll be road agents, no doubt. Yeah, staff member here. Uh, Saray has lost some weight. She's more agile in the ring. She's ripped. Uh, we've got WWE Raw. Main event, Sami Zayn defeat Omas, Obifeni and Onafe. So quite a lot of NXT talent are now on Raw, but it is what it is. Right, up next, we'll get to the next day. And uh, we'll have another Dynamite, followed by another Ring of Honor Club. So NXT, wow, had a 100 main event. We had CM Punk versus Logan Paul, with Logan Paul getting a win. I mean, let's have a look. I just wanted to check something. There we go, there's my AW Dark. WWE's actually got CM Punk on NXT, so they've reshuffled their roster. Pretty cool, though. Some will like it, some probably won't. So we've got an action-packed dynamite booked here. We open up tonight's main event is going to be Danielson Moxley. So we're going to have their title match tonight, right here on Dynamite. This got an 85. The announcers were hyping it. Uh, Mariah May versus Tam Nakano. This is probably Mariah May's best match for me. She got four-star match 82 because Tam's pretty good in the ring. Need to come up with a storyline for May. Uh, the Righteous pick up a win, defeating Bandido and Commodore. Three star match, 75. Fatal four way here. Athena picks up the win against Mina, Layla Hirsch, and Lady Frost. Three star match. Uh, Don Callis pre match promo has got a match to range against Widow Spray. Trent has decided to step up. This got a 90. But Trent was unsuccessful. Big win for Will, 4 star match, 88 beating Trent Barretta. Kamel and Mercedes beat Britt Baker, AMZ. This got a 3 star, 87. Britt actually refused a job. Shock. Uh, post match, Jamie Hayter comes sprinting out, cheering hands. She wants revenge on them two for the attack last week. And this got 74. Oh, pre match promo. MGS makes his way out and pokes fun at the Mogul affiliates and promises to take them down piece by piece. 
So as you can see, I've added Keith Lee to the Mogul Affiliates. Kind of a spoiler there, because I, I was going to have his injury return later on. But that's what happens in this game when you forget. And I shoot one shot when I uh, record. Uh, 95 that got. MJFB EJ there. Three star match, 82. Swerve lays down a challenge after the match, saying one of his guys will take out MGF at full gear. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Hashtag Keith Lee. Uh, this got an 82. Uh, Christian Cage, Daniel Garcia. Christian Cage with a win. Three and a half star, 82. Okada versus Dalton Castle. Four star match, 94. What a match. That is... Okada is just so good. Just so good on this game. Following the match, the Elite start cutting a promo. They cannot be stopped. However, Koti, Kota Abushi makes his return. Points at Okada. Abushi wants a title shot. Any free. Main event time, we have copied real life. John Moxley defeats Brian Danielson. This got a four star, but a 100. And my first 100. Moxley is the new. AEW World Champion. Post match, the BCC aren't done. They begin to beat down Brian. However, the FT runners come down to make the save. But Danielson needed some backup. I didn't have a lot planned for FTR and uh, the youngest men alive. So 76, let's go. Considering I had a 100 match, I am not surprised that that was 90 overall. Right, let's decipher my news first. Make it a bit more money. So you have put AW and HBO Max because that's what they're on in real life. And they made some more ticket sales. So you'll probably see this money thing go jumping miles up later on. Violent J has been querying a large amount of marijuana. Well, that's probably true once upon a time. It was let off with a final community service. And we've got some friends in uh, reality of wrestling. While the sport paired up Ryan and Maxed. AW holds Dark. Bronson. I always keep an eye on this rating over here. If someone starts smashing the ratings, then I'm going to call them up. Impact had Hammerstone over PCO. I oh, will look at New Japan here. T TJP, Junior Heavyweight Champion. So, new referee, Daniel Spencer. He joins the ranks. He's going to be on the AEW brand. Good stuff. Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor's first match, Mace Warner defeats Austin Gunn, one and a half, two, two and a half stars, 71, I'm just building him up a bit, to be honest. Triple threat match, Soraya beats Mayu Wontalabi and Abaddon, three star match, 87, this was chaotic. Post match, Soraya grabs the mic, she puts the quote champ on notice, Anna J. Soraya wants a title shot. 90. Oh my god, is that Private Party? Defeat Shane Taylor Promotions. Three star match, 72. Kyle O'Reilly gets a win over Jay Lethal. A three star match, 80. Roderick Strong calls out Ricochet. He wants to be a man about this. He doesn't need backup. Ricochet, one on one versus Strong for the Pure Championship. Ricochet comes out and accepts the challenge of a handshake. Unfortunately, not a great rating. So they're not great on the mic, these 255. Tag match. Henry Shikari and defeat Ruby Soho. Sawyer Wreck. Riho was at ringside. So the Queen keeps winning. Freestyle match, 79. J 
Jay White against John Silver here. Three and a half star, 83. The tag team of Hook and Samoa Joe beat the Beast Mortos and Roosh. Three and a half star, 80. So that was quite good for Hook there. Uh, Adam Cole return hype. They have a special entrance. Undisputed Kingdom. And they go on to defeat Top Flight. With Adam Cole picking up the win. 78 overall. Contract signing for the world title. Ricky starts. And Orange Cassidy. And it ends quite respectfully. With a handshake after a little promo. It's got an 81. Testing this one out. This was done in chaotic nature. Because... Both had reasonable charisma. Three and a half start and 91. So Chris Jericho and Matt Caster there. Put on a good match. The main event mm, flopped a little bit. Oh, they did not like some of the endings. So this ended as a draw. I pull it to a no contest, basically. Uh, two star 71. The finish really hurt the match. The finish killed the crowd. The fans hated that there was no definite winner. But the reason I did that was because after the match they have a massive brawl. Shane McMahon brings out all the referees, all the road agents. Pulls them apart and says that they're going to face off in a steel cage match. Hopefully. Yeah we did okay. 77, so we did a 90 Dynamite and a 77 Ring of Honor. But. The ring, uh, the main event, uh, probably cost us that one with uh, me going for a draw. Molly Holly's contract's up for renewal. Made some good money. Uh, what we have is SmackDown over here. Bianca Bella, Jay Garth, he'll beat Phil and Henley and Bailey in the main event. Juggalo Championship Wrestling on pay-per-view. Stardom over here. So we're just going to sim a couple of days and then round up what's happened. And we'll have a little look at MLW here. Johnny TV in the main event with a win. Willie Mack is the world's heavyweight champion over there. We've got Revolver Grit Your Teeth. Athena beat Zachary Vince to win their world title. DPW. Nicole Matthews is the world's women's champion. Andrew Everett is the world champion. Looks like we've got a couple of pay-per-views coming up here. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting that. Nora Greenwood has accepted to join New Japan Road Pro Wrestling. She's a road agent. 84. Decent stats. Uh, we've got Recruit offering a contract renewal. Rev Pro here. Spike to vet in the main event. Eve here. They got an 80 for their main event for the world title. Gleet. If anyone likes Gleet. Ricochet. Has won the lid at UFC Championship. So let's have a look at that belt. Because Ricochet is on my roster. It's not a bad looking title. So Ricochet is now a double champion. Well he was already apparently. Still beating WWE in the promotion wars. Just about. JC Dubs. Richard Holiday. Ultraviolent champion. NWA Hard Times, Maxine Paler lost the television championship to Mecha Wolf. Uh, Tom Leitner is still the world champion. EC3 just won the national heavyweight championship over there. Oh, we got Joshua Dawkins contract up for WWE. And we're going to round off with Raw here. Carrying Cross beat Rey Mysterio, Braun Strowman beat Charlie Dempsey. Okay, 
And Athena's put a booking fee up. Well, we are going to call it a day, I think, there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we are really on a roll now building storylines. As you can see on the next video, we're going to have a Dynamite Ring of Honor and then we're going to have AEW Full Gear. So, coming up soon, we have got my first pay per view. And then we'll be building towards World's End. So, yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, please give it a like, subscribe if you enjoy my pro wrestling sim videos, share them out. And uh, as always, guys, take care.